Janae and I'll be giving the kids a little lesson for the elementary students this morning. If parents, if you're not already signed up for our resources that we send out weekly, now is an awesome time to do so because we send out recaps of the lessons and these next couple weeks we'll add in some extra few goodies in there. Also parents, if you're not signed up for Right Now Media, and now is another great time to do so because there's Bible-based videos on there for the children. There's Bible studies and some awesome shows that they'll enjoy. Now, diving into the lesson, today we'll learn that wanting God's will is a part of prayer. That means that we ask God what he wants for us and we can talk to him. Today we're learning that to ask God a question, what do you want, God? And that's a big question. And it's great to talk to God. He's our friend. He's a great friend listener because some of our friends may not be great listeners but he is an awesome listener there are lots of people we can talk with we might talk with them because we need help or to learn something new or maybe just for fun but we can talk with god like we can talk with god like that too today we'll find out we can ask god what he wants for us wanting god's will is a part of prayer We'll read in the Bible about a time Jesus talked to God about what God wanted for him. So before we hear that story, let's begin with some prayer. So hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time that we get to listen to you, Lord, and to listen to what you want for us when we ask, Lord, because you want only the best for us. You want us to love you and to worship you and to praise you and to spread your word across this world, Lord, this world that is hurting in this time, Lord, because they're all scared and they have anxiety, but Lord, we have peace because we have you in our hearts and we have you with us wherever we go. In Jesus' name, say it with me, kids. Amen. So today we'll find out that wanting God's will is a part of prayer. Prayer when, is when we talk and listen to God. Talk and listen. And today we'll learn that when we talk to God, we'll start to want what God wants. So let's look into the Bible and find out how Jesus talked with God and listened to God. One time, Jesus was teaching to a big crowd, and he told him this. And you can find it in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. He said, In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That is an amazing prayer. And you learned about this prayer last week. But we're going to keep learning about it for the next couple of weeks and dive into it and see what prayer is all about. And prayer can be fun to learn about because it's the one way we get to spend with God. It is our direct prayer line to him. It's our way that we get to talk to him and, and experience what he wants for us. So when are times that you pray? Do you pray when you're sad? Do you pray when you're happy? Do you pray when you're out having fun or do you pray by yourself? You can pray, you can pray anywhere. It doesn't matter. And God, God asks, asks us to be in prayer constantly. But and Jesus was the perfect example of this. He prayed all the time because God wants to be our best friend and he wanted to be God's best friend. And God loved him and talked with him. So Jesus wanted to know what God wanted for him because wanting God's will is a part of prayer. So like I said, God can be our best friend and we can talk to him anytime. He wants the very best for us. So let's look in the Bible and find out more about how Jesus talked with God. One time, Jesus was very, very sad, and he talked with God then too, just like we can talk to God. Why might it help to talk to God when you're sad? Think about it. Might it be because God's powerful and he can help us? Or is it because God is our friend and talking with a friend helps us feel better? Because we can talk to God any time. That is prayer. The Bible says that Jesus was getting ready to do something really hard 
and he went into the garden of Geth Gethsemane. I struggle with that word, sorry. He took his friends there, his disciples, and they went and talked to God alone. He went away from them and talked to God alone. Because wanting God's, wanting God's will is a part of prayer. And Jesus knew that. So in the garden, he said to God, do I have to do this hard thing? Because he had to do a really hard thing. And he was asking God, do I have to do this hard thing? If you want me to, I will. Because I want to do what you want, God. Jesus just wanted to obey God. Tell me about a time that you want to obey. Sometimes obeying is hard. And especially sometimes obeying our parents is hard but it's what God wants us to do. But what is the time that you maybe didn't want to obey? I want you to think about that at home and maybe talk to your brother or your sister or your parents about it and think about it because Jesus really did not want to do this thing because it was a hard thing to do. It was a hard thing that God asked him to do and God asked us some hard things too, but Jesus also wanted to do what God wanted for him because wanting God's will is a part of prayer and Jesus did know this. So when Jesus was done praying, he came back to his friends in the garden and guess what they were doing? They were asleep. I know, right? It was a little shocking to Jesus, but when he woke them up, he said, I'm gonna go back and pray. And he went and did that three more times. He prayed three more times and when he came back, Again, Jesus asked God what his will was, and God answered that he wanted Jesus to do the hard thing. And that hard thing was for Jesus to die, to die on the cross for our sins. But he also came back to life. It was a very hard thing, but it was well worth it because it means that we can be friends with God. Through prayers, through his prayers, Jesus shows us that wanting God's will is a part of prayer. That means we can talk to God, our friend. We ask him what he wants for us. So I want you to practice some prayer now. I want you to think about what do you want to talk to God about? What do you want to talk with him about? You can ask him things, you can praise him, but you can also ask him what he wants for you. And that's all there is to prayer. We can talk with God about anything, anytime, anywhere. When we pray, we also listen to God. We might listen for him to answer a question we ask, or we might listen for him to say that he loves us because he does, he loves you. Jesus listened to God because he wanted to hear God's answer. Wanting God's will is a part of prayer. When we listen, we're open to God's will and what he wants for us. We might not hear something with our ears. We might not hear something inside our hearts, but we might hear something with our ears, or we might hear something in our hearts. So I want you to practice listening, sitting still, closing your eyes, and just waiting upon the Lord. So take some time to do that, and I'll come back in a minute. If not, that's 
that's all right. Sometimes it takes some time to be able to hear him. And today we learned that wanting God's will is a part of prayer, so keep practicing. Jesus talked to God about what God wanted for him, and we can talk to God about what's best for us too. So let's do what we learned today. Talk with and listen to God. We'll start with talking. We'll th we can thank him, tell him how great he is, and ask him a question and say we're sorry. Right now, let's thank God for loving us and wanting our best. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all that you do for us. And thank you for guiding us and protecting us throughout hard times in our lives, Lord. And we're sorry that sometimes we may not listen to our parents or to what other people may want for us, Lord. But help us to to listen and to do what you want us to do, Lord. And if that includes obeying our parents, which it does, help us to do that. Since wanting God's will is a part of prayer, let's ask God what he wants for us. We can ask God what he wants when we have a choice to make and we can feel God's answer inside. So let's ask God to help us make choices that he wants. Dear God, you are an amazing God and we want to ask you to help us make the right choices. Help us choose the right path, the one that you want us to make, Lord. And we are gonna listen right now to see what you have to say for us. that you do, Lord. You are amazing, awesome, and powerful. Thank you for your words that we feel inside of our hearts. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. God heard our prayer, and he loves it when we talk with him. This week, I want you to practice talking with and listening to God, and I hope you'll come back next week and tune into our videos and, sh um, and tell us in the comments below what you heard from God. See you next time.